Did you see that story about like Tucker Carlson's head writer was posting yes. on a racist forum? No. First of all, not surprising. Which of course. it's like I don't know why. I mean, and I'm not saying that like of course, but it's like well, yeah, probably. I mean, it's race. They they. they fucking it's not that much different than the what the show is. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, like I don't care. You know what I mean? It's like well, I don't understand. Like oh well, he resigned, and it's like. It's just not gonna not it. be racist. Now just ig- just ignore be... it. But I mean, talk about a sweet job. <laughs> Writing <laughs> getting to be the racist guy being the in the room. Ri- being the head writer. I mean, no, because yeah. it's really that is a story of posting history. Is a guy that just posts on chimpout.com ma- making his way all the way to being the head writer of Tucker Carlson show. You're right. That is mm-hmm. a, a racist rags to riches story. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna tell you, because I could do that job. Easily, sure. I'd work fucking thirty minutes a day, <laughs> and it's like somebody's going to do it one way or the other. You know, so I mean? you're asking for the job. Yeah, I would. I you would, want to be head Tucker, writer, if Tucker. you're listening. Yeah, I hear he. Dude, I'm gonna uh, tell you, make listens. me an EP on that show. Give me fucking twelve thousand dollars a week. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I do. <laughs> All right, well, mm-hmm. the offer's out there, Tuck. What were you saying, Adam? Oh no, I heard he listens and he reads yeah. Jacobin too. He, he listen. He, you heard he listens to Come Town and big reads fan, Jacobin, and he also reads Jacobin. Where do you hear these things? No, you know I just we, made that up. No, yeah. But you say this kind of stuff. No, he, no, he does. Was, he does read. Remember Jacobin. last year when he you does? were like, yeah. you were like, De Blasio's son loved you. He mentioned does. it like four times. <laughs> he likes to do stuff like that. Yeah. This was clearly a joke. I I felt. No, no, was I it? was joking about Tucker Carlson listening to the Come Town podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you actually got got by Adam, Nick. Yeah, you got got, dude. In an embarrassing moment. Once oh, again, I'm sorry the, your joke was so unfunny. That <laughs> once again, the web, the spider, the webmaster web yeah. couldn't even. has logged you out. Thank you. <laughs> All right, whatever. Look, just give me the job. <laughs> just let me write, and I want to do it from home. Okay. And if I come in, um, there's got to be like a Keurig machine in my green room. I that's, get a green. You get a green room. room as a writer, I get a green room. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Well, and I also get I also get to go to HMU at the beginning of every day. I want to look pretty. Oh, hair and makeup. Yeah. Hair and makeup, of course. Yeah, you just got a full blowout. Yeah. <laughs> Your hair is with the with the like wax paper around yeah. my neck. <laughs> you know? I'm like, what if we say Mexicans aren't real? <laughs> what if we say there's no scientific evidence to prove that Mexicans exist? And we <laughs> sort of tie that into the coronavirus somehow. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. Great, great lashes, that sounds by like the Tucker. way. Imagine for a second that Mexicans weren't real. <laughs> there was a race of cartoon characters that were flooding this country every day and hitting people on the head with giant mallets. Obviously, there'd be protests in the streets, and you'd be right to be angry at that. But for some reason, we don't do it with Mexicans. <laughs> Imagine that Looney Tunes characters were coming here in droves. Uh-huh. The Tasmanian devil... Destroying cities, throwing ampersands and dollar signs out of a cloud of chaos. <laughs> and a toothless hunter was hunting a talking rabbit. Rightfully, you'd say this is chaotic and absurd. But for some reason, when it's El Salvadorians, nobody has a problem. With it. <laughs> That's good, man. Yeah. That's Nick's fucking packet right there, Tucker. That's it. If you're listening. That's you just rape, race swap everything with Looney Tunes. Yeah. And that we know you right. are, Tucker. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, folks, all of his, I have to piss. All of his hypotheticals never account for the fact that the white people that are being oppressed that he's talking about love the oppression that's happening to them. What do you mean? Well, not even oppression. Well, he's like, you know, bitching about like, well, uh, he was complaining this week about fucking like that Seattle city council doing like sensitivity training for white people. We're like making them all learn uh-huh. about how... How their white their whiteness is criminality. Imagine we were doing this to black people, and it's like, well, it's, I I can't imagine that. But I also doubt that any of the white people that that's happening to in Seattle feel right. anything other than ecstatic. They love it. About, <laughs> they love it. Are you kidding? They, me? they can't wait to hear to judge and to judge other white people uh, to that judge other done white it. people. Oh, of course, when yeah. some fat bitch shows up at the office and she finally finished white fragility. <laughs> yeah. And she can't wait to cry in the break room and fucking explain yeah. how guilty she feels to a woman that's never heard of the book. You're right. Doesn't who, care. Who emigrated from Ghana six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is, this, it's Christmas for them. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Just absolutely. All right, I'm going to go piss. Oh, are we done? Why don't you just piss yourself? Be like, yeah, that just cool pee guy. your piss. I don't want Dude, to. Nick already did it. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm we could all piss. do it together. All right. Well, I guess that's the episode. Thanks for, for listening. Thanks for listening. Tucker, again. Suck our dicks. Bye, See ya. This isn't a joke. There's naked pictures of me all over the internet. Like what you see? I hope you do. Because there's plenty more where that came from. What is going on? Who's jacking off to this? It's not me. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's your family. 